How's it going guys? We are back with a video here and some of you guys are probably wondering maybe some of you guys uh, Haven't played this game in a while and where is the NHL 24 news? So I'm gonna go over when you can expect any sort of NHL 24 news and some things that I'm gonna be looking forward to hopefully seeing in NHL 24 So if you haven't already though, make sure you leave a like subscribe if you have not already anytime There's any news for NHL 24 you'll see it on this channel, but let's get into it now basically looking back Starting in NHL 19. Okay, so back then we used to get the reveal every time at the NHL awards, all right? So it used to always be late June, we get the reveal of the NHL game. And unfortunately, since COVID, that has changed. But it would be June 18th, uh, 2018 is when we got the announcement. And then NHL 19, we got the trailer on June 20th. And it was always exciting. I mean, that's uh, that's not, I don't think that's a very debatable thing. I mean, you had uh, just classic stuff right here. I mean, I don't want to play this too long because it'll be uh, copyright. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, the trailer is always fun to watch. Uh, just always exciting times. But unfortunately, we don't have that anymore where it comes out the NHL awards. But what happened in NHL 20? Let's see. So here we have NHL 20 actually as well. Uh, we also had, uh, I believe, yeah, we also had this yeah so we actually did have the nhl awards as well in nhl 20 so it's still a normal uh announcement a normal trailer june 18th right he's always do it june 18th right it's a magic number NHL 20 trailer uh, essentially came out two days later or, or even the 19th right so uh it's uh it's it's pretty much always that time frame at that point until covid did hit uh, NHL 21 and, and ruined everything really because now the game comes out in october every year and honestly let's be real that sucks so then, this is when it all went downhill. I mean, I guess you could argue the game went downhill too, but NHL 21 development update, all right? So July 20th, like until this point, until this tweet, we didn't even know when NHL 21 was coming out, if it was coming out, really. Uh, it, it felt like it wasn't. Um, I'm surprised they even released it. Maybe they shouldn't have released it, honestly. NHL 20 was pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. But uh, NHL 21, you had an announcement on July 20th. So that was uh, definitely a very random time to 527 they announced it, but it took a long time, July 20th, and then we didn't officially get a trailer until August 24th, guys. That is ridiculous. That was a reveal trailer, August 24th, so... Yeah, it's uh, a massive difference. Basically, two months later than it used to be originally, where we got an official trailer. Uh, honestly, I could deal with a July trailer, right? But I feel like it just takes so long now to get like any sort of announcement. Like, I feel like if if we got an announcement right now, like for NHL 24, like even the cover athlete this month, I'd be excited. Just having to wait until August 24th, it's a bit ridiculous to me. That's just my thoughts. Then NHL 22, actually, it's a little bit earlier. So uh, you have the reveal trailer here coming out on August 19th. They might have announced it a few days earlier as well. Couldn't really find one of their tweets kind of announcing NHL 22. But honestly, that's not too unreal uh, unrealistic, un unreasonable. I don't, I don't hate that. I mean, it's so late. It's still really late. Uh, we had the official trailer come out on August 19th, as we, I was just looking at in the tweet. But it, it's better. It's better than than honestly. Uh, I think what NHL 23 was, is all I can say. It was uh, not ideal, really not ideal. But uh, I would say, I mean, it's just a very unfortunate thing that it comes out later and later in the game now and the news comes out later and later because especially this year's game really is not great in my opinion. And it just, it makes it a lot worse to have to wait that long, right? So let's see when NHL 23 came out. So then you had NHL 23 coming soon. They announced on August 22nd and the full reveal is on August 25th. So that was the latest it's actually ever been since going to the COVID era, right? So uh, I was August 25th was the reveal. 21 was the was 24th. So I mean, it wasn't like a huge difference, but uh, about, about a week difference. But it's the latest this year. So uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully that's not the case because we're getting trailers in mid-September when the game comes out in early October. So... That's the only thing that's just, I feel like it's a little bit rushed. That's what I find with the games when it comes to news these days. Is it feels a little bit rushed where, again, it just feels like at the last second they're trying to shove all the content out and then the game comes out a week later. It's kind of a weird situation. But now I'm going to get into some of the things that maybe I want to see in Natural 24. So some things I want to see in Natural 24, starting with Hockey Ultimate Team, is the content. The content needs to be a lot better, all right? I, I just feel like we get so many random cards. Uh, it, it just makes no sense a lot of the time. Uh, there's certain guys that probably should be getting upgrades and they don't get them, so it's a very weird thing when it comes to the content. Next up is squad battles. Squad battles, they have to make it where if you score uh, five goals, you get a certain amount of shots, or if you get ten, whatever. If, there should be some sort of a mercy rule to end the squad battles games. 
There's no reason to want to play squad battles when you know you can get it done easy. Not not everybody can do this, I get it. But on Superstar, where you get it done easy, and you're just kind of putting your controller down, just trying to let the time run out, it's a very frustrating thing. and something they really got to address, in my opinion. Rivals, we all know Rivals is kind of like, you know, whatever. Not really great. It is what it is. Uh, the win rewards have to be a lot better, in my opinion. The win rewards are not anywhere near where they should be. Uh, something that's certainly got to be addressed. And if it doesn't, I mean, I'm going to be very disappointed. So uh, they got to def definitely address the win rewards and rivals. And honestly, just make it more of a reason to play rivals. How about some guaranteed rewards instead of my RNG packs that I have to open every single week? It's not a lot of fun when you're in Division 1 and you're grinding and you just don't end up getting anything really for playing all those games. Hut Champs is fine. I mean, I would like, I would like if they made Hut Champs uh, w w a little bit more like, I guess, better rewards in terms of, like, uh, maybe players again, like, for, like, top 20 or top 50. That'd be, that'd be fun. That'd be fun, I think. But other than that, Hut Champs, I really don't complain too much about. It kind of is what it really is. It's, it's kind of works out how it should be. Uh, I think the collectible system is okay. I mean, I think it's okay. Like I said, it's fine. But I, I feel like it, it could be a lot better. And sets, we all know sets are so random. I mean, the events, th now they all of a sudden have this way you can trade in all the 86s. You get, like, these special edition MSPs, which is cool. But... I feel like they gotta they gotta make some different unique ways when it comes to the events, right? Like I feel like the events are just way too similar. All this is just power up MSPs. We gotta gotta try to find a way to make that different and try to change it up to me at least. And we all know we could use another maybe like a battle royale type mode like MLB has. That'd be really cool to have in the game. But I don't know. I think they gotta improve on the modes they have first of all. Then you got World of Chell, which, I mean, World of Chell is fun when you play with your friends and all that great stuff, but I feel like there needs to be reasons to play World of Chell, and I feel like right now there really aren't too many reasons to actually want to play it. So, again, you got your clubs, you got your drop-in. Drop-ins are really not what they used to be anymore. Pro-Am, I mean, that's just whatever. Three's Eliminator. I don't really know how many people actually play Eliminator, but, I mean, it could be decent, I suppose. Uh, but... I feel like there just needs to be more reason to play this game. Again, since there's no grinding for levels like the old days, I think they gotta just find a way to make it just actually fun, like to actually like grind games. Because right now you're just playing games for what? Like, what's the point of playing club games? You're not, I mean, yeah, you're leveling up, you're opening hockey bags, and that's another thing. Hockey bags are really annoying. I don't like them at all. Uh, it's just you're, you're kind of hoping you get certain items instead of, you know, if you get a certain, it, you should be, how about this? You should be unlocking items at certain levels. That's just my opinion. Like if you, if you get to a level, whatever, prestige one level 30, I should be getting uh, a certain celebration. So I at least know I'm working towards it and not working towards RNG. I think that's very silly how they do that. Uh, I just think I, I playoffs are awful the way they are now. So that's another thing. I, I don't, I don't really care for playoffs and I hate the outdoor rinks all the time. It just, to me, it just feels lazy. I, I'm not a big fan of it at all. They got to kind of get out of that outdoor rink stuff. I don't like it. I'm sure a lot of you guys agree. The outdoors for the playoffs is annoying. I always like, I don't play my arena. I mean, I, I make this arena and then I can't even use it in the playoffs. It doesn't really make much sense to me at least, but, uh, we're the shell again. It could be a lot better, but, uh, Again, for me, I, I think it's just got to be more of a reason to, to play and want to play. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I could definitely think of some more things too. But uh, off the top of my head, that's what I was thinking is just more ways to play, more reason to play. And then we got franchise mode. To me, franchise mode this year is my second favorite mode in the game. Maybe my favorite, honestly. I don't know why I'm saying Hot's my favorite because it isn't. But franchise mode is so awesome. There's so much more potential as well. So happy they added like the Stanley Cup celebration. I know that's not really like a franchise mode feature, but... Uh, it, it definitely makes it more immersive and all that good stuff. Uh, I feel like that there's a lot of potential with franchise mode. Certain just minor things can really make it that much better, such as, you know, I guess three-team trades. Uh, I, I would say potentially having the all-star game be a thing you could, you could see and check out. Uh, I, I feel like there should be more of a way to potentially, like, I, I guess how do I explain it? Basically, I feel that the trading system is a little bit off as well. Uh, that could be a bit better. Uh, they got to have the draft be more immersive. Like, the trade deadline is actually pretty exciting. The draft needs to be more intense, I feel like. It'd be cool to see, like, a little, like, cutscene of you drafting your first pick or whatever. I know you can't do it for every player, but maybe your first round pick, you get to see a little picture of them smiling or something. That'd be kind of fun to see. Uh, I, I just think... Free agency should be like that too. I mean, free agent frenzy is a big deal, right? Like, I feel like they should try to highlight those days like they do for the, the trade deadline. Like, the NHL draft and the free agency should be like a big deal, I feel. But uh, they should also have like a Hall of Fame thing too. Like, after like players retire, like a few years after they did, they get like a Hall of Fame like list at least. It doesn't have to be like a whole ceremony. I mean, that'd be nice, but uh, it could be just like a little bit of like, a, a pop up saying, oh, they've been inducted into the 2026 Hall of Fame or whatever it may be. Like, oh, Crosby's in. Stuff like that would be cool, I think, uh, as well. But 
I mean, there's just so many amazing things that franchise mode can do. Uh, I feel like it's it's got potential. It really does. I mean, it it's right there in my opinion. But they gotta they gotta just keep on working on it. I mean, you, you have so much there already. I think franchise mode is one of the more deep ones. Record books a a cool thing they have here as well. Uh, I, I just think it needs to be a little bit more immersive, like some other franchise modes and in other games. But uh, it's it's heading in the right direction. I think they definitely. I mean, roster sharing was nice. They added that. That really helped out that mode a lot too. Uh, custom league was cool as well. I mean, they, they they've done some good stuff here for franchise mode. I can't deny it. But there's certainly other things that you'd like to really see that would make it just a bit better, right? I mean, it, it's it's uh, it's it's working. It's a work in progress here for franchise mode, but what do you guys think of franchise mode? What would you like to see in it? And then be a pro. I feel like be a pro. It was really awesome what they added in NHL 21. Essentially, they have not added a thing since NHL 21, which, okay, I kind of understand to the point because they did add a lot that year, I will admit. But at the same time, you can't just completely ignore the mode after just really putting a lot into it for one year. That's the one thing I feel like EA does a lot. They put a lot into one mode every year, but then they just ignore every other mode. And that's a very unfortunate part of Be A Pro. There's not a lot of just different storylines, cutscenes. It's very similar, right? You're kind of in the same area, it feels like, for all the Be A Pro for the most part, right? So that's the only disappointment with Be A Pro. I think it could be a lot better. Just trying to add more things like the All-Star game would be cool, right? Like you have a little bit more of a of an interesting you know i guess all-star game experience would be cool uh again free agency would be cool if there was more involved trade deadline stuff like that i think there's just so much there that can happen for be a pro as well it's very similar to franchise mode where it has a decent base but you gotta add on to it and i feel like each year they really don't they kind of just add into add on to the graphics uh, aspect or uh, very minor other like features like world of shell they, they made the menus and stuff like that better right which is cool don't get me wrong but it just, I don't know, they gotta they gotta make it fresher, I feel like, be a pro. Even if it's a very, just a few different things. that You want the game to feel different every year, right? You don't want to, you don't want to buy a game, right? You know, let, let's just say I played NHL 23 the whole year, right? I, let's say I played every mode a good amount all year, right? No one wants to buy the new game and all of a sudden load it up and be like, wait, this is exactly the same as last year, right? After you just spent 80 bucks on the game, maybe 100 depending on if you got the ultimate version. But I think we all can agree with that. Uh, be a pro, just more cutscenes. I'd be cool if there was like actual voiceover of your player, but I mean, that's obviously a little bit complicated, probably. But uh, let me know what you guys think of be a pro. All right, guys, that kind of wraps up my video. I know there's some other things I could mention. Gameplay, obviously. Uh, to me, gameplay is, is a huge thing as well. I'm not ignoring gameplay. I just, I don't even know what to say, really. I think the gameplay just got to be working from the ground up. I mean, it's in a rough spot. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, though. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique, three E's, enjoy Discord, talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.